what are the issues in the classroom right now? So the issues that have come in, and they did not come in with the advent of, uh, I don't know how to put this. So we've had sex ed, um, which included, oh, that's a bad way of putting it. So no one's been letting gay children get bullied forever. I don't, I just don't think that's been happening for decades and decades, not, not officially at least. If there's bullying, people deal with it. It's not in the curriculum. It's not institutionalised. They're not put in a cupboard and told to hide. People know about that. But what came in um, with the gender identity laws was a sexualization of the curriculum that I had never seen before, that I, I guarantee you absolutely no parent would be comfortable with. Like right down at kinder, one of the pieces of advice to uh, teachers um, in a kinder year level was to advise little children if they asked, I don't even know if you can put this on your show, you but if yeah. they asked what the clitoris was, like this is a four-year-old, Unbelievable. you know, it's a little um, bump in between where the wee and poo comes out, but then there was this sentence, and if you rub it, it feels good. Unbelievable. And I just thought, um, no, that is absolutely unacceptable. So there is just like inappropriate content in that curriculum. They had a man named Gary Dowsett supervising the safe schools curriculum. He's on the record of talking about something called child sexual rights. Ch children are pre-sexual. They cannot consent to sex. I don't know why that man was involved in our curriculum it's a scandal that I don't think has had enough attention paid to it. And then on top of that, the child safeguards around sex-based differences have been removed. So any child or any teacher that identifies, if it's a male, if that person identifies as a female, the teacher can demand to come in and supervise all of my female students on swimming carnival day when they're trying to get in and out of their bathers. Now I've supervised on swimming carnival day in that situation. And even as a woman, I would take a book and I say, I'm here to help if you need me, to stop you bullying each other and to look after you if something happens. I'm going to read my book to give you privacy, call out if you need me. They would not want a man in there and I wouldn't want to let him in, but I would lose my job. And on camps, for example, parents are allowed to have information withheld from them about who's going to be sleeping in that room with their children and what gender they are. Gender they are. If a child decides to adopt a different gender at school, the sorry, the policy at the moment says that any adult on school grounds, any adult, can declare a child a mature minor for the purposes of social transitioning and they don't have to tell the parents if they think the parents won't be affirmative. Now, either the parents are fit to be parents and therefore they have the right to know absolutely everything about their children or they are unfit to be parents and they should not have those children go home to them at night. The government can't have it both ways. You know, we can't use parents as a bed and breakfast while we indoctrinate them behind their backs at schools. Brilliant. Just brilliant. If they were unfit parents, we shouldn't oh. be sending those kids home. Mm. Make this. Hey, it's you illogical. should be You should be the leader. 